Hey everyone, welcome back to another book preview video. This week we've got The Tolkien Years of the Brothers Hildebrandt. So a quick look at the cover there. It is very glossy, so hopefully my lighting is alright. I believe that is Smog on the cover from The Hobbit. So let's get straight into flicking through this one. It's actually quite a big book. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera. Um, obviously it's a square book, so these ones are always a little bit harder to open out and preview to actually fit on the camera. So the pages inside are a little bit glossy as well, but I think the lighting is set up so that you can just about see it. The first thing to mention, uh, I've noticed in other video reviews, is this book, or this version, it is a soft cover. It's quite sort of, well, very soft, I guess. So maybe not very protective, um, but it doesn't really matter to me. That's not really an issue for me. And this book is sort of a new find for me, even though it's quite an old book now. And um, there are a few versions of this, variations, which we'll talk about. But for me, I've only just discovered it. A lot of you already know that I'm a massive Lord of the Rings nerd from the fact that I have a lot of Lord of the Rings art books that I preview on my channel. I will put links to those on screen and in the description box below for those that are interested. Some of those are really good, especially if you're a fan of the movies or any of the artists that are involved. The same with the Hobbit ones as well. And I'm in a group on Facebook called Lord of the Rings Collectors. And in this group, there are some really amazing displays of things people have collected, quite often from the movies, like props and things like that. And I noticed that one guy who posted his collection, he had all these really amazing prints on the wall or canvases and posters. Some of them I'd never seen before and I asked him where they were from and he sort of pointed me towards the brothers Hildebrand. Hildebrand? Hildebrand? I don't know how you actually pronounce it so apologies to them for that. So I went on the website that sells their work and I was shocked by how much they was and it was absolutely incredible. Um, not only that, I did actually recognise quite a few of them. You know, if you follow any Lord of the Rings pages on Instagram or anything like that, I see a lot of the work posted quite often. In fact, I believe a lot of the work is actually on the covers of certain Lord of the Rings books as well. Like, for example, the biography of J.R. Tolkien being like interviewed or sat chatting with a dwarf, I think it is. You might have seen it at the beginning of this book. I didn't stop because I didn't want this to be a long video. But yeah, you might recognise a lot of these artworks. So I'm not really usually into sort of old school art, let's call it. I don't know why, I've just older paintings and stuff have never interested me at all. And I do think these look older. Well, they are older. I think a lot of the work was done in like the 70s. But for some reason, maybe it's just because of my love for Lord of the Rings, but I think these are absolutely amazing, really detailed, really well done. Um, something just stood out to me and I had to buy the book. I couldn't decide on a print to get, so when I realised they sold a book that was full of the work, that was a definite purchase for me. And you probably noticed this book is not just the final artwork, the final paintings. Um, it is, you know, the sketches, the the reference they use. This is actually one thing I, I saw in the previews and I thought it was really cool seeing how they set up for the photos. Oh, sorry, how they set up for their artwork taking photos. All the reference that they used. As an artist, I know that reference is my best friend, but to be honest, I've never gone through the effort that these guys have gone through to get such good reference. You can see that they really love their work. Um, it's really inspiring, and it's really cool to see the effort that they have put into getting their reference right. And also, it pays off because you can see in the final paintings exactly all the work that's gone into it and how the reference has helped. If you are fans of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, you will probably recognise quite a lot of these creatures and things like that. So when I look through this, I think it's quite interesting because I would consider their style extremely realistic. Yeah, some features are a little bit exaggerated, but I was going to use this as an example. Randomly, I think that the orcs, goblins and golem, like we've got there, I think they look really good. But to me, they're much less realistic but for some reason it does seem to work, but I'm not sure why, because it's kind of a mix of very realistic with, I won't say cartoony, but very exaggerated. 
But I mean, look at pieces like this. So much work must have gone into that, even just to get the lighting right. But the actual, the quality is absolutely amazing. Some of them creep me out a little bit like that. That looks more like some out of a Merlin program. But it's still very well done. A lot of landscapes and cities and things like that. But also a lot of character work. And I noticed on the website, I think it's called Spiderweb. Uh, in fact, I'll put links in the description box below where you can buy a lot of their artwork from. So cool. Um, they actually do still have some older copies of this book that were like signed hardback ones. I very nearly bought that because they're not very expensive. But I'll admit I did get this on Amazon. I'll put links in the description box below to the one that I've bought. Because this one had an additional like 20-25 pages. So I couldn't resist the extra artwork. As cool as it would have been to have the signed copies. So I'm sorry that I can't tell you too much about the brothers, um, the illustrators, the painters, because I don't know much about them. This is very new to me, but I wanted to get this previewed on camera just because I was really excited about this one. This is honestly, I know I am a Lord of the Rings nerd, so I'm very biased, but the work that goes into something like that must be absolutely astronomical, I guess. Again, a lot of photo reference. It's nice to see their sketches. This is actually the piece that I saw on the person's wall that I mentioned earlier. I saw this and I thought, whoa, that's really cool. Normally I'm a bit of a pain in the bum when it comes to seeing art when I've seen a movie of something. If I love the movie so much, I don't usually like other interpretations. But I think with fantasy work like this, when it's such a big world, I think it's nice to see other interpretations. But I mean, even the quality of the sketches here, I know that's hard to see on camera, such talented artists. So I've previewed way too much of this book compared to what I should have done, but I just can't help myself. I'm really blown away with this. Um, I'd be intrigued to hear your guys' thoughts on this, or if you guys know you know, a lot of information about the artists, I would love to learn from you guys if you leave me a comment below. Aside from that, they actually do have other books. I think there's a generic art of book. I have a feeling there'll be a big crossover with this one, but I'm tempted to get that. But there's also a fantasy art book, so I'm really tempted to get that. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in seeing more like that, because I'll definitely be happy to preview that on camera. So I think we can leave it at that now. I've shown absolutely loads of this book. Definitely going to be a favourite of mine. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. And of course, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on for future content. Thanks for watching, everyone.